Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case. The movie Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them takes place in New York City circa 1926. It may look like a typical busy metropolis of the past, but there's a lot of unseen magicking going on just beneath its surface. Not the least of which is the magic meanderings of a magizoologist named Newt Scamander. First trip to America? Yes. Must get that fixed. This fidgeting, soft-spoken guy is in the Big Apple on a mission involving a rare supernatural beastie. But in the process of things, a number of other crazy critters end up escaping from the magically contained zoo he keeps in his suitcase. It was open? Just a smidge. He and a mugglish nomad named Kowalski must track all these capering creatures down. But they soon get caught up in a bigger problem. There's a powerful, mysterious, and evil force rampaging through the city. And if it's not soon caught, it could stir up a war between the witch community and all of mankind. Written by Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, this CGI-filled pick is designed to set up a new movie franchise. As such, it sometimes feels like it's trying to pack too much in its cinematic suitcase. Along with themes of acceptance and friendship, the film is overflowing with magical creatures, characters, and lots of wand-zapping peril. And all that dark magic alone is enough to earn some parental consideration. So I'm giving Fantastic Beasts two and a half deadly swirling entities out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review of this film or anything else at your local box office, visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.